Thanks for joining us, America. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. We're glad you're here. Open phones at 888-825-5225. Debra is with us in San Diego. Hi, Debra. How are you? Uh, hello, at the Dave Ramsey Show. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Uh, What's up? I really enjoyed that last segment on uh, the Sabbath and resting. That was a great set segment. I got a lot out of that. Thank I'm you. also interested in your seven baby step program. But the reason for my call <laughs> is um, what kind of a plan does a person that has $200,000 plus in student loans that are in deferment? Wow. Uh, a mortgage that's $2,500 $2, a month, mm-hmm. a $300 car payment, mm-hmm. and making around $90,000 a year. Mm-hmm. So what do you owe but, on the car? Uh, probably 16000 Okay. All right. Um, well, you've got several things that are out of whack, as you know. Who's got 200000 You You personally have $200,000 in student loan debt, or you and your husband together? No, myself... Uh, it's a long story. We have two sons that um, have graduated, and the, the youngest just graduated. So in six months, the, the, those loans are going to, you know, become due. But I'm going to have to put them in deferment until I can figure out, you know, how, how am I going to, because the, the payment on the thing is $2,500 or mm-hmm. something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a, These are parent plus loans. Oh, so. the majority of them are. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it, it's a combination of two sons. Okay. Well, here's here's the thing you look at. It's um, you know, sadly, it is simple math, and the math that I always use when I'm here on the air talking to someone about their debt, you know, you always hear me ask, okay, what do you make, and how much is the debt, and that that ratio is what I call the shovel to hole ratio. So you're in a two hundred thousand dollar hole plus your car, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and your shovel is ninety thousand. Okay, so if you told me your if you told me your shovel was two hundred ninety thousand, it'd be a different way of looking at it, right? But if you yeah. ta- and if you told me your debt was only ninety thousand and you were making ninety thousand, it'd be a different ratio, the shovel to hole ratio. So what this tells me is what you already know is your budget is unbelievably tight. Your house payment is too big a percentage of your take-home pay already. Add to that this Parent PLUS disaster. Add to that a car payment that you can't afford. Yeah, you got you got big-time cash flow problems. And uh, so, you know, it's not going to be like you're going to be out of debt anytime soon with that kind of ratio. So something is going to give here. And you probably should decide what's going to give instead of uh, somebody deciding for you by starting to take stuff from your life. So what is your home worth? Uh, probably about four, uh, four thirty, I guess, maybe. And what do you owe oh, on we it? Just, we just bought this. I've only been in here a year. What do you owe on it? 420 something 425 yeah. or something like that and that's not an expensive home in san diego no it's not it's because a, we live outside of san diego yeah, it's a below average home but 2500 dollars as a percentage of your take-home pay is about every dime you could you could qualify for so uh is there any chance your incomes are going up uh, well, yeah, but, you, you know, the way the raises are these days with these companies, is you know, little or nothing, is less than 5%. Okay. So it's not like you're on some kind of fast track to double your income or something? No, no. Okay. It'll, yeah. it'll increase, but not yeah. significant enough to... Yeah, and what do you owe on your car? Uh, the car, uh, 16000 you got a high interest rate on that, then. Uh, it's about... Uh, yeah, five point nine, yeah. I think it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you man, can't I pay, pay you can't pay payments on all three of these things and eat. That's our problem. Yeah. Well, the student loan is what's going to yeah. kill me because. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and you, you and yet you signed up for it. Well. Yeah, I did, but I thought at that point that it would be, it could be arranged that I, you know, according to what I'm, my regular income and my outgoing. Yeah, but if you put this on, if you put this on an income-based payment plan, it won't even pay the interest on this. 
You'll be in debt the rest of your life. Yeah. That's not going to work. So something's got to give here. Um, well, what does that mean? I have to lose my house? Uh, I, I don't know if you're going to lose it, but you're not going to be able to pay it. And you're not going to be able to pay that and a car payment and a student loan payment and be out of debt in this century. Uh, so mathematically, and I'm not picking on you, I'm just telling you what you already knew, that this is a dire situation. So I think you're going to have to move way down in house. You may have to move areas of the country. I don't know. Because I, I, I don't think you've bought some kind of opulent structure uh, outside of San Diego. $450,000 is not a huge house. No. You bought, mo- you bought modestly in terms of the actual lifestyle, but the math is not modest. That's the problem. And so uh, what do you guys do for a living? Uh, I'm uh, in IT. What do you do in IT? I'm systems analyst. Okay. Troubleshoot our systems. Okay. And are you single? Uh, well, no. Now I was divorced. I got divorced, and now I'm remarried. Okay. What does your husband make? He doesn't make much. He he's a uh, um he does he works in shops in like sheet metal, mm-hmm. which is a good industry. But he got laid off, and now he's doing retail until he can get back into a shop. Okay, so he gets back into a shop. His income's going to go way up over what we're talking about. Is the ninety thousand you alone? Uh, yeah. Okay, so when he's in a shop, isn't he making seventy? Uh. Probably maybe 40 to 50, I think. Yeah, with overtime 70, and he needs some overtime. Yeah. Because you guys are broke. Now, yeah, I put 70000 on top of this. Now I got $160,000 income, and you pick up some side gigs in the IT world and add another ten or twenty to this. You're very marketable in the IT world if you know what you're doing for all kinds of remote work and side stuff, contract stuff on the side while you're doing your full-time thing. You guys, you know, income, if we can add... Sixty, seventy thousand dollars, eighty thousand dollars to your household income. Now we got something to work with, and get the car sold, and you start plowing through the student loan in three years. Then, and then you get your life back after that. But you paying this by yourself on ninety grand is not going to happen. Math, the math is there. Now I would keep my house, and both of you go work like crazy people. And let's create another $80,000 worth of income between overtime, him getting back into a sheet metal shop and taking all the OT he can get, you picking up all the contract work on the side you can do, anything you can do remote or whatever. I don't care what it is. You know the tech world, and you're in a tech corridor, so you should be able to land some stuff. And you've got to create some income. Or you need to sell your home and your car and move to an inexpensive area to live in that's not the San Diego market and start trying to work your way out of this ridiculous mess you've made with a $200,000 worth of income or $200,000 worth of parent plus loans. And um, you've got to quit buying things like cars and parent plus loans and houses that don't fit the math of your life because it takes your life away. That's your problem. So hold on, Deborah. I'm going to send you a copy of the book, The Total Money Makeover, to help you guys work through this process. But um, the best answer to your mess is huge amounts of new income with him getting a better job him putting all of that in the on the table to solve these problems you're selling your car and uh, get you a cheap beater car and then let's let's work let's plow our way through this thing and maybe these boys that graduated can actually throw some money in this you know because it's not like their mom could afford to pay for their education because she's broke something to think about This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.